Welcome back. Now we'll write the logic to select data from database tables and download the data. So we'll write here start of selection, end of selection. The first is like perform get data. Perform get data. Okay, so I have to select all these fields from the VBRK and the VBRP table. Okay, so I will just double click here, create the subroutine in the same program. And now here I will write the logic. Give the comments, select invoice, header, and line items data. Okay, so select A, VBELN. Then A F K date again A K U N R G then B Postnar then B F K I M G B V R K M E after that B Matnar then after Matnar A R K T X then we have amount net W R and last we have tax amount okay now from which table from vbrk as a okay so from the a table i am selecting three field okay vbrk as a inner join vbrp as b now the join condition on a vb eln equals to b vb eln so into corresponding fields of table gt underscore invoice. Yeah, same I created a gt underscore invoice. Okay, now the where condition where my fk date, sorry, afk date, afk date in s underscore fk date and aku nrg in s underscore ku nrg save check activate no error so our get data is done now we'll get the data in this internal table now the next we have to download the data right download data in a text file with a separator so right here perform download Okay, fine. So I'll double click here. Yes, click in the same include program. Now, here two important things we have to first we have to create a file name. Okay, so what I will do first, I will just call the function module. So, first we are downloading, right? So, we have to call the function module GUI underscore download. So, if you see here, the file name is mandatory. And the table is mandatory. Okay, so this table means our GT underscore invoice table we have to pass here. The file name. So we have to create a variable with the same type as this function model. I will double click here. So here, if I see this file name is of type string. Okay, so first we have to identify where we want to store the data. So this is my like path c c colon users of for desktop sap files this is my path okay inside this folder i will create the files now this program will be generated many times right so today morning i generated then evening again i may generate so if i give the fix static file name that will get overwrite that will get overwrite suppose i'm giving file name always invoice so first time file will get generated Second time it will get overwrite. So to avoid that, we have to prefer the dynamic file name generation by adding some date and time in that. Okay. So so what I will do, I will declare here two variables. I will declare here two variables. Sorry, my SAP is log out. Give me some time. Yeah, I will log in again. So what I will do here. Here I will declare data lv underscore path. Okay, lv underscore path 
value. Now here I will give my fixed path name. So my path is fixed, right? I want to save in this folder. So what I will do, I will give that complete path here, followed by a backslash. Okay. And then I will declare one variable lv underscore lv underscore file of type string. Final data we have to pass in the same type as a string. Okay. So now what we'll do, we'll generate a file name at the runtime. So I will select concatenate lv underscore path, then invoice. Okay. And then when I am generating that, so I will write here sci datum and sci u z e i t okay dot txt into lv underscore file. So this is the path. This is the fixed static name in wise. So whenever I am executing the program, system will assign the date and time of the server to the file name. Okay separated by, I will give here underscore. Okay, so now I will pass the file name here, lv underscore file, open this ASCII. Now I want the field separator. So if, if you know, you're not passing any field separator, so we'll not able to read the file properly. So I want a field separator, system will automatically give a tab. Okay. And then here you have to pass our internal table that is gt underscore invoice and always open all the exceptions to avoid any error. <coughs> wait, wait, some errors. LV underscore file. Close. Sorry, here I close that. I have to give comma here. Save, check. Yeah, now no error. Okay, so here it is giving what we'll do here. We'll write here message file saved successfully. Okay, message. I triple zero eight I <coughs> message I triple zero eight I with file sale successfully. Okay, and if file is not generated, so I'll give the, give the message again, same I triple zero. 8i with error while error while downloading the file okay save check and activate so let me let me explain the steps again what we have done First, we have done data declaration for types, then internal table declaration along with two variables, selection screen, data selection, and using GUI download, but only the file. Okay, this file name, this table name. So first I will download all the data as it is. So better set a breakpoint here to check the number of records. So I will just execute. I'm not passing any bring date here. Execute. Just check how many records are there. So here you can see 54 records are there. Okay. And currently this folder is blank. So I'll just press F8. See file saved successfully. Enter. Go back. Check the folder. See. Here we can see the file is generated and check the file name. Invoice underscore, this is date 22, 10. We can give any file name. Okay, it is up to us. 
this is time now i will open this see this is first is like invoice number invoice date customer then line item quantity unit of measure metal id description net amount and tax amount fine let's cross check yeah this this we cross check right before this session so let me copy one more invoice number this i will copy i will go to sap i will open vf03 see here we can see the same metal code spi underscore turmeric net value 50 quantity is 1 kg the same we can see here quantity is 1 kg spi turmeric fine so now what i will do i will just pass only single date i want to download the data of, of this single date only okay so again i will go back to our program I will enter the date here, billing date. Let's say 03052024. Now, if I execute, create a breakpoint, F8, file save successfully. Now, see, here we can see second file because the time is different now. So, if you give the file name only in wise, it will get overwrite. So, always prefer to give some dynamic file name. Now, if I open this, so you can see only two records because on this date, only two invoices are created. Okay. So in this way, we have done with the session on file download option on the local machine. In our next lecture, what we'll do, we'll upload the same file into SAP. Okay. The downloading part is completed. Next lecture, we'll learn how to upload the file into SAP system. That we'll see in the next lecture. Thank you.